skin, sis. I love skincare almost as much as I love hair care. What? Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sporting a bare face because I want to get into some skincare. I honestly love skincare, and if you didn't know that, now you know, like literally almost as much as I love hair care. Lately I've been getting tons and tons of questions about my skincare, so I figured why not just sit down here and do a super detailed video. And today I'm gonna be sharing exactly how I like to prep my skin for makeup. So a lot of you have been asking how I get my foundation to kind of sit so nicely and get that like natural do and make it look really smooth and stuff. So I'm gonna walk you through my step-by-step -step routine. And I'm also gonna play around with a few of my favorite products, but also a few products that are a bit newer and we're gonna have some fun today. We're gonna get detailed and I'm gonna tell y'all everything. Before we get started, please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. That way you'll be notified every single time a new video drops. All right, so let's get started. So just like how I feel about my natural hair care regimen is the same way I feel about my skincare regimen. I feel like it should be simple but effective. I'm also very, very picky about what I use on my skin. I prefer to use products that are less toxic, more natural, um, more gentle. You know, I don't like to use harsh things on my skin. My skin is slightly sensitive and she is also combination. So I tend to get a little bit oilier during the day but then pretty dry at night. So the first step to any skincare system is cleansing. You always wanna make sure that your skin is freshly cleansed right before you put on your makeup. So to cleanse today, I'm gonna to be using the Pure Joystick, which is an exfoliating deep pore cleanser. This is bomb. And I actually just discovered this and it quickly became like my bestie, my fave. I love it. So it's basically a stick cleanser you can see here and it's got little exfoliating beads on the inside there so that when you're rubbing it on your skin it is physically exfoliating your skin as you go so basically you're just gonna start with damp skin so here I am I just wetting my skin up and then you're gonna just take the product and rub it around in circles on your face All right, and then once you feel like you've got enough product kind of distributed all over your face, I then go in with my fingers, again, in circular motions to encourage like further exfoliation. The thing I like about this stick is that it's not only like really easy to use, but it's also super effective without being like overly exfoliating, you know? That's actually an important point. You don't want to over exfoliate. So I only exfoliate about twice a week or so. You don't wanna do this every single day. So what this does is it kinda of just buffs away all of the dead skin cells, any of those areas, like for me, it's like typically on my nose where you feel like you have more texture in that area. It gets rid of all of that and then you're left with super smooth, beautiful skin. All right, and then once you're finished rubbing this in, you just go ahead and wash it off. Whew. Okay. This is another thing, slightly a major key here, is that you wanna pat your face dry and not like wipe it. You wanna be very gentle with your skin. How did I get exfoliator in my hair? I don't understand that. Oh, so smooth. I just love how my skin feels right after I exfoliate. This is a game changer. So like I was saying, I don't exfoliate every day. I limit it to twice a week. So what I like to use in the in-between time when I'm not exfoliating but I still need to cleanse, I like to reach for my Milk Makeup Vegan Milk Cleanser. So this is another newer kind of product, but it quickly became one of my favorites, just kind of like that exfoliating stick. This is so bomb. Now the reason why I like it is because it's just a super creamy cleanser. It's not drying, but it's still very effective in cleaning your skin. All right, so once our face is cleansed or exfoliated in this case and nice and dry, I'm gonna go in with a serum next. So at night, I tend to use my vitamin C serums, but since it's daytime, I'm just gonna use something that will help me get a glow, something for a nice, like lightweight level of hydration. So for this, I'm gonna be grabbing my Tula Skincare Hello Radiance Illuminating Serum. So Tula is an awesome skincare brand. They are huge on using more non-toxic ingredients, things that are gentle, things that are good for your skin. And that's one of the main reasons why I just love this brand. Also the packaging, hello, how cute is this? 
So do I think that serum is 100% necessary? Absolutely not, but do I want to use it? Absolutely. But if there was any step here that you guys are wondering if maybe you could skip in order to save money or save time, this is definitely a skippable step. So I particularly like this serum because it is super creamy and hydrating. It's not one of those serums that kind of just feels really alcoholy and makes your skin feel dry. Like it automatically starts to feel very hydrating and it's like a good first step to hydrating your skin. So on the back of the bottle, it says here that the serum targets the appearance of dark spots and dull skin, revealing a youthful and brighter looking complexion. So this actually also has probiotics and superfoods in there. So it's really just jam packed with great things that will help to keep your skin happy, healthy and looking glowy. I mean, you can see already that we've got a little bit of glow going on here. I love it. All right, and then after serum, you always want to follow up with a moisturizer, but you want to make sure that you give your serum enough time to fully dry down and like soak into your skin before you slap that moisturizer on. So onto moisturizer, the moisturizer that I'm using today is the Good Molecules Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. So Good Molecules is another great skincare brand who is also very, very interested in using more healthy ingredients for the skin as well. Like I said, I'm very, very picky about what I put on my skin. And when I see companies that are devoted to putting more healthy ingredients in products, those are the companies that I trust and those are the companies that I will use their products. So for daytime makeup, I kind of like to use moisturizers that are lightweight but effective and that is exactly what this moisturizer is. You don't want to go in with a super oily moisturizer because then that will leave your makeup in a super slick like hot mess. But then you also don't want to use something to where it's so lightweight that you don't even feel like you're getting the moisture that you need. This is like the perfect balance and then I can also feel it starting to dry down a little bit. Like I also hate moisturizers that kind of just sit on top of your skin. Like you can literally feel it just sitting there. But this one, I can feel it kind of drying down, soaking in and doing what it needs to do. Having super moisturized skin to start out with is also great because you'll find that you might get less creasing and your makeup will actually feel more comfortable to wear. All right, and then next up, I wanna talk about eye cream really quick. So I'm 25 years old. I honestly have been blessed with like zero bags, but I am still a huge, huge advocate for using eye cream. I get really dry under eyes here and I just feel like eye cream is not only great for just hydrating them, but it's good for preventing future bags and future wrinkles and lines and all that stuff. So even if you feel like you're in your 20s and you feel like me, like, hey, I don't have anything, I have to worry about it, you should still maybe try and invest in a nice eye cream. It doesn't have to be super expensive. This one's a little bit bougie, sorry, but um, I think it's always helpful. Like just find a super simple one. It just just to hydrate you don't need the ones that say they do this 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 with a vitamin C and all of that kind of stuff you don't need to find that just find with the simple affordable and just use it honestly like it just if anything it feels amazing so for eye cream today I'm using the Yuzu youth brightening eye cream and this is by the skin research Institute so can we talk about this packaging real quick this is bomb so I love the fact that it is actually a pump. Most eye creams are, they come in like a little jar, you kind of have to use your nail to take out the product, but this is a lot more hygienic because the product just comes out to you and then that's it. Literally one pump, that's it. This is all you'll need. So the consistency of this eye cream is a little bit different from other eye creams that I've used as well. It's kind of like a gel-based consistency. Can you see that there? No, you cannot. There we go. So because it's gel based, I know that it's going to be pretty lightweight. I also kind of like the gel because it doesn't really disrupt my skin. Like the skin underneath your eyes right here is super sensitive. So you don't want to be pulling, tugging, dragging it at all because you want to prevent as much as you can. So try not to be like pulling and tugging because this is gel. It kind of just glides right over the skin versus a cream. Sometimes you can tug your skin while you're rubbing it in, but this just glides right over and it feels so good. I love this and I love how lightweight it is. I know this is going to sit just perfectly underneath my makeup. All right, so while this eye cream is drying down, let's talk about primer. So I have a ride or die primer that I've been using for ages now and there's just none better. And that is the Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. This primer right here is 
Bay. This feels just like a moisturizer when you put it on and it's just amazing. It makes makeup feel so much more comfortable to wear. Like I can't even explain it. It's just so good. And then it also helps me to get that nice little natural, healthy, dewy kind of glow without being like too crazy dewy. And I just, I, oh, there is none better. Now my skin is 100% ready for some makeup. All right, so let me slap on some foundation and show y'all the magic. I'm using my favorite foundation of all time and this is the Cover FX Power Play Foundation and I wear the shade G80. You know what? I feel like we need to get a little closer. Let's get some zoom action. Yes, now you guys can see everything. Do you see how the makeup is kind of just like melting into the skin? It's like becoming one with the primer. Now I know this is looking a little bit slick, but as we continue to put on makeup, we can control the level of shine and do by using powder. So let's add a little bit of concealer and some powder so I can show you guys how it kind of looks when those are done. So for concealer, I'm using the Cover FX Power Play Concealer in the shade G Medium 4. And then for powder, I'm using the Range Beauty Smooth Out Translucent Setting Powder in the shade Golden Light. All right, so this is how our complexion is looking so far. So you can see like the powder kind of toned down um, all of the like dewiness that we had, but there's also still, it's still like coming through a little bit in all the right spots, right? Boom, like it's just like a natural healthy glow going on and that is what I love. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup, just going for a super simple, natural look, and then I'll be back. Ta-da! So I am almost done, just got one more step that I wanted to share with you guys, and that is my lips. I love me a good, glossy looking lip balm, and I recently found a brand new favorite, like all-time favorite lip balm for daytime, and that is the Marc Jacobs Kissability Recover Hydrating Coconut Lip Oil. You guys. So, so good, so good. I definitely feel like lip balm, like lip care in general is a part of skincare. Don't neglect the lips. I mean, look at that. Look at that. It looks like a gloss, but it feels so hydrating and comfortable on the lips. It's not sticky or anything like that. You leave one in the car, one in your handbag, one in your nightstand, one everywhere, and then you're good to go. You will never have crusty lips ever. Boom! So that is basically it. Let's get in to this complexion. You guys, I honestly feel like I don't have any makeup on, but I have on full-blown foundation, concealer, powder, like the whole works, not the whole works, but I have a lot more than just like a BB cream and that's it, you know? It looks natural, we've got a healthy glow. Like this is honestly my go-to whenever I'm doing my makeup. And the thing that I've learned is that you can have the nicest makeup in the world, but if your skin is not up to par, your makeup's not gonna look good. So your skincare is just as important as the type of makeup that you use. I would actually argue that the condition of your skin is actually more important than the makeup that you use. If you're wondering more about what my nighttime skincare routine is, I currently have on IGTV a video where I go through my current like winter skincare routine. So super hydrating, super moisturizing stuff, and also another more intense like lip balm mask kind of thing that I, I like to use as well. So if you guys are interested in that, head over to my IG to check that out as well. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this and found it useful. If you have some skincare favorites, go ahead and comment them below. I will love to have a look and try some of your favorites too. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe. If you didn't in the beginning, you have another chance to do so right now. And you can check out these other two videos as well. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.